Hello! Today, we're going to learn how to insert geometric means between terms. I am Chordons, and welcome to Grade 10 Mathematics. Our target, define geometric means, and determine the geometric means given the extremes. Important Notes the term between any two given terms of a geometric sequence are known as geometric means. To illustrate, I have here a sequence. 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. a sub 1 is equal to 1, a sub 2 is 2, a sub 3 is 4, a sub 4 is 8, and a sub 5 is equal to 16. The first and last term of a finite geometric sequence are called geometric extremes, which is equal to 1 and 16. And the terms in between are called geometric means, which is equal to 2, 4, and 8. Here is the formula in finding the n term of a geometric sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and r is the common ratio. Example number 1. Insert 3 geometric means between negative 2 and negative 162. Solution, given. We have negative 2, blank, 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 and negative 162. There are 5 terms in the sequence, so our n now is equal to 5. a sub 1 is negative 2, a sub n is negative 162, and we're looking for r. Applying the formula we have, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Where negative 2 goes to a sub 1, negative 162 goes to a sub n, and 5 goes to n. So, negative 162 is equal to negative 2 multiplied by r raised to 5 minus 1, and that is equal to 4. Negative 162 is equal to negative 2 multiplied by r raised to 4. Divide both sides by negative 2 to isolate r. We have negative 162 divided by negative 2 that is equal to 81. Negative 2 r raised to 4 divided by negative 2 is equal to r raised to 4. To solve for r, we need to extract the root. So, 4th root of 81 is equal to 4th root of r raised to 4 and that is equal to r. While 4th root of 81 is equal to 3. So, our r now is equal to positive or negative 3. Take note that we have two values of r. Okay, if we use the positive 1, r is equal to 3, we have negative 2 multiplied by 3, that is equal to negative 6. Negative 6 times 3, that is equal to negative 18. Negative 18 times 3, that is equal to negative 54. Negative 54 times 3, that is equal to negative 162. And if we use the negative value, we have negative 2 times negative 3, same sign, it becomes positive, we have positive 6. 6 times negative 3, that is equal to negative 18. Negative 18 times negative 3, same sign again, we have positive 54. 54 times negative 3, that is equal to negative 162. Hence, the two possible sets of geometric means are negative 6, negative 18, negative 54, and 6, negative 18, and 54. Example number 2. Find the missing terms of the geometric sequence blank 24, blank, blank, 3, and blank. Solution, given. We have blank 24, blank, blank, 3, and blank. Note that the first term is not given, so we're going to use the second term, which is 24 as a sub 1 or the first term. Then a sub n is equal to 3, which is our last given term. So our n now is equal to 4. Because we start counting the terms from the first given term, that is 24, up to the last given term, which is 3. a sub 1 now is equal to 24, a sub n is 3, and r is unknown. Applying the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1, where 24 goes to a sub 1, 3 goes to a sub n, and 4 goes to n. We have now 3 is equal to 24 multiplied by r raised to 4 minus 1, and that is equal to 3. 3 is equal to 24 multiplied by r raised to 3. Divide both sides by 24 to isolate r raised to 3. 
So, 3 over 24 is equal to 24 multiplied by r raised to 3 over 24. And that one is equal to r raised to 3. Then, simplifying 3 over 24, that is equal to 1 8. To solve for r, we need to extract the root. So, cube root of 1 8 is equal to cube root of r raised to 3. Cube root of r raised to 3 is equal to r. And cube root of 1 8 is equal to 1 half. So, our r is equal to 1 half. Solving for the missing terms, we have 24 multiplied by 1. That is equal to 24 divided by 2. It is equal to 12. 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 2. It is equal to 6. 6 times 1 is 6 divided by 2. It is equal to 3. 3 times 1 is 3 divided by 2. It is equal to 1.5. For the first term, we're going to multiply it. So, 24 multiplied by 2, it is equal to 48. Therefore, the missing terms are 48, 12, 6, and 1.5. Example number 3. Find the geometric mean of the two given numbers. We have negative 2, blank, and negative 18. This one is a special case because we're looking for a single missing term. So, we're going to use another formula and that one is called the mean proportionality which is equal to positive or negative square root of a and b where a is the first given term and b is the last given term. Using the formula we have positive or negative square root of a and b and that one is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 2 multiplied by negative 18 which is equal to 36. So, positive or negative square root of 36 is equal to positive or negative 6. Note that we have two possible answers, the positive 6 or the negative 6. Another example, we have letter B, 3 blank and 48. We're going to use the same formula, positive or negative square root of A and B, where A is the first given term and B is the last given term. So, positive or negative square root of a and b is equal to positive or negative square root of 3 multiplied by 48, which is equal to 144. So, positive or negative square root of 144 is equal to positive or negative 12. Note that we have two possible answers, the positive 12 or the negative 12. Okay, now it's your time to practice. Insert the specified number of geometric means. Number 1. Two geometric means. The given terms are 128 and 16. Number 2. Blank, blank, 9, blank, and 1. And for number 3, insert two geometric means. The given terms are 2 and negative 250. Don't forget to type your answer at the comment box so we can check it. Good luck! I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!